Gaye tact or Gaud heel tact is an Irish language word used to denote any primarily Irish speaking region. In Ireland, the term Gaye tact refers individually to any, or collectively to all, of the districts where the government recognises that the Irish language is the predominant vernacular, or language of the home. The boundaries of the Gaye tact have always included a high percentage of resident English speakers. The Gaye tact districts were first officially recognised during the 1920s in the early years of the Irish Free State, following the Gaelic Revival, as part of a government policy aimed at restoring the Irish language. It is now recognised that the Gaye tact is threatened by serious language decline. Research published in 2015 showed that of the 155 electoral divisions in the Gaye tact, only 21 are communities where Irish is spoken on a daily basis by 67% or more of the population. 67% is regarded as a tipping point for language survival. History In 1926 the official Gaye tact came into being after the report of the first Gaye tact commission Coimazia en na Gaye Terta. The exact boundaries were not defined. The quota at the time was 25% plus Irish speaking, although in many cases Gaye tact status was accorded to areas that were linguistically weaker than this. The Irish Free State recognised that there were Irish-speaking or semi-Irish-speaking districts in 15 of its 26 counties. In the 1950s another Gaye tact commission concluded that the Gaye tact boundaries were ill-defined. It recommended that the Gaye tact status admittance of an area be based solely on the strength of the language there. The Gaye Tac districts were initially defined precisely in the 1950s, excluding many areas which had witnessed a decline in the language. This left Gaye Tac areas in seven of the state's 26 counties. The Gaye Tac boundaries have not officially been altered since then, apart from minor changes, the inclusion of Unclotcher N and Car Copyright BHRA Copyright in Anan County Kerry in 1974. The inclusion of a part of West Muscari and County Cork. And, the inclusion of Bale Gibb and Ra T. H. Chernan Meth in 1967. The Gaye Tac Today, a study in 2005 by Anchom Herlamoidacious Gaye Ter to Agus Gelskala Otis said that Gaye Tac schools were facing a crisis and that without support few of them would be teaching through Irish in 20 years' time. This would threaten the future of the Gaye Tac. Parents felt that the educational system cancelled their efforts to pass on Irish as a living language to their children. The study added that a significant number of Gaye Tact schools had switched to teaching through English, and others were wavering. In 2002 the third Coimazia N. Na Gaye Terta stated in its report that the erosion of Irish in the Gaye Tact was now such that it was only a matter of time before the Gaye Tact disappeared. In some areas Irish had already ceased to be a community language. Even in the strongest Gaye tact areas, current patterns of bilingualism were leading to the dominance of English. Policies implemented by the state and voluntary groups were having no effect. A new language reinforcement strategy was required, one that had the connivance of the community itself. The Commission recommended, among many other things, that the boundaries of the official Gaye tact should be redrawn. It also recommended a comprehensive linguistic study to assess the vitality of the Irish language in the remaining Gaye tact districts. The study was undertaken by Akadam Nawe Jolskala Otagayilj, and on November 1, 2007, stated a copywriter Quim Sivich Tiangela Och Rashsa Na Gayilj Sa Ail tact appeared. Concerning Gaye tact boundaries, it suggested creating three linguistic zones within the Gaye Tact region, AA Euro 67% slash plus daily Irish speaking a Euro Irish dominant as community language, BA Euro 44% a Euro 66% daily Irish speaking a Euro English dominant, with large Irish speaking minority, CA Euro 43% slash daily Irish speaking a Euro English dominant but with Irish-speaking minority much higher than the national average of Irish-speaking, the report suggested that Category A districts should be the state's priority in providing services through Irish and development schemes, and that Category C areas showing a further decline in the use of Irish should lose their Gaia tact status. The 2006 census data shows that of the 95,000 people living within the official Gaia tact, 
approximately 17,000 belong to Category A areas, 10,000 to Category B and 17,000 to Category C, leaving about 50,000 in GAIA tact areas which did not meet the minimum criteria. In response to this situation, the government introduced the GAIA tact Bill 2012. Its stated aim was to provide for a new definition of boundaries based on language criteria, but it was criticized for doing the opposite of this. Critics drew attention to Section 7 of the bill, which stated that all areas currently within the GAIA tact would maintain their current GAIA tact status, irrespective of whether Irish was actually used. This status could only be revoked if the area failed to prepare a language plan. The bill was also criticized for placing all responsibility for the maintenance of Irish on voluntary organizations, with no increase in resources. The annual report in 2012 by the Language Commissioner for Irish reinforced these criticisms by emphasizing the failure of the state to provide Irish language services to Irish speakers in the GAIA Tact and elsewhere. The report said that Irish in the GAIA Tact was now at its most fragile and that the state could not expect that Irish would survive as a community language if the state itself kept forcing English on GAIA Tact communities. A report published in 2015, Nyoshinra R and Stader Copyright Tact, 2006-2011, said that on present indicators, Irish will cease to be used as a community language in the GAIA tact within 10 years. Census results, however, do not take into account the dislike of the census by many Irish speakers, as it considered an English influence on the nation. Therefore the language may be used more than it is believed in many GAIA tact areas. Administration The Department of Community, Rural and GAIA tact Affairs, under the leadership of the Minister for Community, Rural and GAIA Tact Affairs, is responsible for the overall Irish government policy with respect to the GAIA Tact, and supervises the work of the Ashtara Esna GAIA Terta and other bodies. RTA Permel Radio Cubed Na GAIA Terta is the Radio Cubed Te Life for SA Permel Irian radio station serving the GAIA Tact and Irish speakers generally. TG4 is the television station which is focused on promoting the Irish language and is based in the County Galway Gaia Tact. In March 2005, Minister for Community, Rural and Gaia Tact Affairs of Permila Mona Clavey announced that the Government of Ireland would begin listing only the Irish language versions of place names in the Gaia Tertia as the official names, stripping the official Ordnance Survey of their English equivalents, to bring them up to date with road signs in the Gaia Tact which have been in Irish only since 1970. This was done under a place a names order made under the Official Languages Act. Gaia Terta in the Republic of Ireland. Equals demographics equals. At the time of the 2006 census of the Republic of Ireland, the population of the Gaia Tact was 91,862, approximately 2.1% of the state's 4,239,848 people with major concentrations of Irish speakers located in the western counties of Donegal, Mayo, Galway, and Kerry. There were smaller concentrations in the counties of Cork and Waterford in the south and Meath in the east. The Gaia Tac districts have historically suffered from mass migration. Being at the edge of the island they always had fewer railways and roads, and poorer land to farm. Other influences have been the arrival of non-Irish speaking families, the marginal role of the Irish language in the education system and general pressure from the English-speaking community. There is no evidence that periods of relative prosperity have materially improved the situation of the language. Equals Donegal Gaia Tact equals, the Donegal Gaia Tact has a population of 24,744 and represents 25% of the total Gaia Tact population. The Donegal Gaia Tact encompasses a geographical area of 1,502 km2. This represents 26% of total Gaia Tact land area. The three parishes of Na Rosa, Gorthdop Hare, and Clot Chanfhaula constitute the main center of population of the Donegal Gaia Tact. There are over 17,132 Irish speakers. 14,500 in areas where it is spoken by 30 euro 100% of the population and 2,500 in areas where it is spoken by less than 30%.
In 2006 there were two 436 people employed in a full-time capacity in Ashtero S. Nargayater to client companies in the Donegal Gayet Act. This region is particularly popular with students of the Ulster dialect. Each year thousands of students visit the area from Northern Ireland. Donegal is unique in the Gayet Act regions, as its accent and dialect is unmistakably Northern in character. The language has many similarities with Scottish Gaelic, which are not evident in other Irish dialects. Gorthdop Herring County Donegal is the largest Gaeatac parish in Ireland, which is home to regional studios of RTA Perma Radio Cubed na Gaeaterta. It has produced well-known traditional musicians, including the bands Alton and Clownad, as well as the artist Enya. Equals Galway Gaeatac equals the Galway County and Galway City Gaeta have a combined population of 48,907 and represent 47% of total Gaeta population. The Galway Gaeta encompasses a geographical area of 1,225 km2. This represents 26% of total Gaeta land area. Most speakers are located in the Connemara region. The largest settlement areas are Anspida Copyright Owl and Anchathra Rua. Anchathra Rua is 48 km west of Galway City, while Anspida Copyright Owl is 19 km west of Galway City. There are 30,978 Irish speakers in the Gaia Tact, 11,000 Irish speakers in the Gaia Tact Quaff Haraj and Konamara Thiers area, including the Iran Islands stretching from Nafal Baker to Kana, and another 5,000 to Euro 7,000 in North Connemara, and approximately 4,000 Irish speakers living in areas where the language is spoken by less than 30% of the population. There is also a third level constituent college of NUIG called Akadam Nawi Chelskala Otage Ilgen and Chathra Rua and Kana. The national Irish language radio station Radio Cubed Nagaye Terta is located in Kayla, Foynes Newspaper in Chathra Rua, and national TV station TG4 in Bell Nawi Chaphorn. Galway City is home to the Irish language theatre Talib Tark Nagalim. Equals Kerry Gaye Tact equals the Kerry Gaye Tact consists of two areas a euro the western half of Gaye Tact Cork at Quibnan Central and western parts of Way BH Rathach. The largest settlement in Cork at Quibn is in Dangen and the largest in Way BH Rathach is Bell and Sialg. The Kerry Gaye Tact has a population of 8,729 and represents 9% of total Gaye Tact population. The Kerry Gaye Tact encompasses a geographical area of 642 km2. This represents 9% of the total Gaye Tact area. Equals Mayo Gaye Tact equals The Mayo Gaye Tact as of 2011 has a total population of 10,886 and represents 11.5% of the total Gaye Tact population. The Mayo Gaye Tact encompasses a geographical area of 905 km2. This represents 19% of the total Gaia Tact land area and comprises three distinct areas a Euro Ioras, Akale and Tuamhika Permiladea. Bar Copyright Alan Huerthead is the main town in the Mayo Gaia Tact and is 72 km from Bellina, 80 km from Castle Bar and 110 km from Ireland West Airport Knock. There are 6,667 Irish speakers with 4,000 living in areas where the language is spoken by 30 Euro 100% of the population and 2,500 living in areas where it is spoken by less than 30%. Equals Smaller Gaia Tact, Cork, Meth, Waterford equals, the Cork Gaia Tact consists of two areas a Euro Maskra and Olea and Cla Copyright Aya. The Maskra Gaia Tact has a population of 3,895 people and represents 4% of the total Gaia Tact population. The Cork Gaia Tact encompasses a geographical area of 262 km2. This represents 6% of the total Gaia Tact area. The largest Maskra settlements are the villages of Bel Mhikari, Bel Bowen, and Bar Copyright Al Athar and Ganot Haid. The Meth Gaia Tact is the smallest Gaia Tact area and consists of the two villages of Rati H. Ken and Belgib. Narvan, 8 km from Belgib, is the main urban centre within the region, with a population of more than 20,000. 
the Meth Gaye Tact has a population of 1,771 and represents 2% of the total Gaye Tact population. The Meth Gaye Tact encompasses a geographical area of 44 km2. This represents 1% of the total Gaye Tact land area. The Meth Gaye Tact has a history quite different from that of the country's other Irish speaking regions. The two Gaye Tata of Belgib and Rati H. Cairn are resettled communities. The Rati H. Cairn Gaye Tact was founded in 1935 when 41 families from Connemara in West Galway were resettled on land previously acquired by the Irish Land Commission. Each was given nine hectares to farm. Bale Gibb was settled in the same way in 1937, along with Bale Ellen. In the early years a large percentage of the population returned to Galway or emigrated, but enough Irish speakers remained to ensure that Rati H. Ken and Bale Gibb were awarded Gaye Tact status in 1967. The original aim of spreading the Irish language into the local community met with no success, and the colonists had to become bilingual. The Waterford Gaye Tact is 10 kilometres west of Dungarvan. It embraces the parishes of Rinwegi Kunak and Anshawn Fubble. The Waterford Gaye Tact has a population of 1,784 people and represents 2% of total Gaye Tact population. The Waterford Gaye Tact encompasses a geographical area of 62 kilometres too. This represents 1% of total Gaye Tact area. Northern Ireland there were areas of Northern Ireland that would have qualified as Gaye Tak districts at the time of partition in 1921, but the government of Northern Ireland passed no legislation to ensure this. The language was prescribed in state schools within a decade of partition, and public signs in Irish were effectively banned under laws passed by the Parliament of Northern Ireland, which stated that only English could be used. In 2001, however, the British government ratified the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. Irish was specified under Part 3 of the Charter, giving it a status comparable to that of the Welsh language or Scottish Gaelic. This included undertakings in relation to education, translation of statutes, interaction with public authorities, the use of plus names, media access, support for cultural activities and other matters. Compliance with the state's obligations is assessed periodically by a committee of experts of the Council of Europe. Equals Belfast equals, the Gaia Tact Quarter, Belfast is an area in Belfast where the Irish language is actively promoted. It is situated mainly along the Falls Road and has Gelskoliana, a Caltrala East in Norunra, together with a restaurant and agencies where Irish is used and the Kulta RLANN a cultural centre which also houses radio-cubed filed. This has grown from the Shores Road urban Gaia tact in the southwest of Belfast St. Mary's University College Belfast, also situated on the Falls Road, is the only teaching college with a dedicated Irish medium unit. It is also home to an ad which translates literature into Irish and publishes it for use in schools and other organisations in Ireland. Equals County Londonderry equals an area in southern County Londonderry centred on Slitneal and Cantor, which had gone from being 50% Irish speaking in 1901 to having only a few speakers by the end of the century, has seen a language revival since the setting up of a Norse coil in 1993 and a Gelsk coil in 1994. In 2008 two local organisations launched a strategy for the rebirth of the Gaia Tact, based on Irish medium primary and secondary education. Speaking at the launch, a Pamela Mona Clavey, the Republic's Minister for the Gaia Tact, said that the area was an example to other areas all over Ireland which are working to re-establish Irish as a community language. Neo Gaia Tertua. Equals Dublin equals, Dublin and its suburbs are reported to be the site of the largest number of daily Irish speakers, with 14,229 persons speaking Irish daily representing 18% of all daily speakers. In a survey of a small sample of adults who had grown up in Dublin and had completed full-time education, 54% of respondents reported some fluency in Irish, ranging from being able to make small talk to complete fluency. Only 19% of speakers spoke Irish three or more times per week, with a plurality speaking Irish less than once a fortnight. 
It was reported by Newark TG4 on January 13, 2009 that a group in the Dublin suburb of Ballymun, in conjunction with the local branch of Glack Cube Don Argale had received planning permission to build 38 homes for an Irish-speaking community or urban guy attacked. This project was based on significant local support for the language, since there are four Gael Scoliana and Nor Onra in the area. There have been no reports of further progress with this project. Equals West Clare equals, parts of County Clare were recognised as Gaia Tact areas following recommendations made by Coimazia N. Na Gaia Tata 1926. This was enacted by law under the Gaia Tact Acts 1929-2001. There were Irish speakers west of Ennis in Kilmill, Kilrush, Doonbeg, Doolin, Inistaman, Carriglolt, Listuan Varna and Belivorn. In West Clare a group called Coist for Buffer Gaia Terta Kuntai and Clare aims to have the area recognised once more as a Gaia Tact. It has been claimed that native speakers who received grants under SCAR copyright Im Lepert na Gaelge, a scheme first established by the state in 1933 to encourage the use of Irish in Gaia Tact regions, still live in the county and speak the language daily. It has also been claimed that there are up to 170 people in County Clare who are daily speakers of Irish. The committee aims to develop local networks amongst Irish speakers in County Clare and elsewhere until such time as recognition is obtained. In Arden Tra Thna Cubed Narsha, 2012-2014, is a Kilmel-based Irish language journal devoted to the restoration of traditional Irish in West Clare. Equals North America equals the permanent North American Gaia Tact is an area near Aaronsville, Ontario in Canada. It has no permanent residence but serves as a resource centre for Irish speakers throughout North America. It was officially opened in 2007. Irish Colleges Irish Colleges are residential Irish language summer courses that give students the opportunity to be totally immersed in the language, usually for periods of three weeks over the summer months. During these courses students attend classes and participate in a variety of different activities games, music, art and sport. As with the conventional schools, the Department of Education sets out requirements for class sizes and qualifications required by teachers. Some courses are college-based and others provide for residents with host families in Gaia Tact areas such as Rosmuk and Galway and Rati H. Kern and County Meth. 1. Cola ist Silchartha in County Donegal receiving instruction from a Beninter, or Irish-speaking landlady. See also, Irish language, Ulster Irish, Connacht Irish, Munster Irish, Ashdera S. Na Gaia Tertu a Euro regional state agency responsible for the development of Gaia Tact regions. Gaia Tarina Permel Irian a Euro replaced in 1980 by Ashdera S. Na Gaia Gaid Heel Tarked a Euro equivalent region for Scottish Gaelic, Y Fro Jimrag a Euro equivalent region for Welsh. References External links Department of Community, Rural and Gaia Tact Affairs, Forsa Nagailj, Ashdera S. Nagaye Teta.